Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Meeple's Corner News. Um, this week we have a lot of new games we have to go through, but first I want to quickly remind you that yesterday the Spiel Digital started. That's the online event that's replacing the Spiel uh, board game show in Germany, which couldn't take place this year because of the COVID restrictions. So if you want to have a look at all the shiny new games, you can go on the website, the link is in the description, and join a lot of the events and demo sessions for all the new games and um, see if you find something that you're interested in. And um, the second interesting uh, event going on at the moment is the Steam Tabletop event. And that's an um, event especially for video games based on board games or emulating the board game experience as a video game. And there's a lot of live streams. There was one with the um, Wingspan designer where you could play or watch them play Wingspan and talking about the design of the game. So there's lots of events going on until Sunday. If you're interested, have a look on the event schedule on the Steam website. It's um, quite interesting at the moment with all the online gaming going on. And um, before we come to the new games, a quick look at what is happening at the shop this week. Um, the major new feature I added to the website are the gift cards. Now you can buy gift cards on the website which get emailed as a code and you can use the code during checkout to um, redeem the gift card and you can either send the gift card to yourself if you want to use it later or you can send it together with a short message to someone else and we also have gift cards available here in the shop which you can even buy online if you want to make a gift to someone local who can redeem the card in the shop these are the two new things in the shop and now to the new games we have received this week. The start is a Kickstarter from last year we finally received. is um, the Ivari Deluxe Edition from Thundergriff. That's the publisher behind Tang Garden. That's the same nice artwork and components. Their games always look very nice and it's the Deluxe edition with the slightly more um, components and everything included than the retail edition which will come at a later date. And it also comes with all the Kickstarter extras which are lots of bags for the different factions. There is additional tokens, there is a fancy metal scoring token, there are the replacement cards for um, I think the misprinted void cards, they included the new print, there is uh, storm tokens and there are sleeves for all the cards which have the slightly weird tarot size. So Ivari is one of the new games we have in stock now. Then um, another new game we have received this week is the World of Tongues Tanks miniatures game. It's from um, uh, Battlefront or Gale Force 9. I think they're using part of their tanks game. That's a couple of years old and they work together with the publisher of the World of Tanks video game to release it as a World of Tanks miniatures games. And it works a bit like the X-Men game from Fantasy Flight Games. You have your own um, tank miniature with all the stats on a card and you can move freely around on the table, you have uh, landscape tokens and everything and like an X-Wing you can buy additional tanks to upgrade or change your armies. Then we have the 1565, that is the new game from um, All or Nothing Productions, it's based on the system they used in 1066. Um, another two-player historic card game and um, I had a, one customer who backed the Kickstarter and he already told me that he likes it a lot more than 1066 because the background is a bit um, 
you need to get used to because it's not a well-known historical battle. It's the siege of Malta in 1565, but he had the feeling that it works better um, in this kind of background than the 1066 battle. And yeah, we also have the playmat for this one. And then we have another fairly big box. We have the Horizon Zero Dawn board game. <coughs> That's from uh, Steamforged Games, the people who brought the Dark Souls game and Guild Ball and other miniature heavy games. And it's a heavy box and as you can see with lots of miniatures and lots of components and I think especially interesting for fans of the PlayStation 4 video game. That's another box. So these are the games that are already available and from Today, I record this on Thursday, but it will go live on Friday, so from Friday on um, we will have the new Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-earth expansions, Dwellers in the Dark, Dark, Dark or Darkness, Darkness, sorry, and it comes with three new miniatures you can add to the game, and also uh, title card, item cards and trinket cards and it can use with the base set but it can also use with the shadow path expansion so that's online from friday another game available from friday is raiders of scythia i hope i pronounce it correctly it's based on raiders of the north the first game from where's the publisher name garfield games in new zealand and it comes with new artwork, new components, and I think there's a few changes compared to the Raiders of the North game, despite just having a different background. And it looks looks really nice, so something to look forward for all the fans of the Raiders games. And the big one that's also available from Friday is Pandemic Legacy, Se Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. That's the new Pandemic Legacy set and you don't need to have played the first or second season of Pandemic Legacy. This is basically a prequel to all the Pandemic stories so far and um, instead of researchers and medics and the usual Pandemic characters in this set you are CIA agent, agents to find out what is behind the um, Project Medusa, which is apparently a bioweapon, and you travel around Earth to find find uh, traces of the Medusa project and find out what's behind it. So a completely new theme, and um, some people will, will like it, and I think others are a bit doubtful about the new direction of the game, but it certainly keeps it interesting. So. Um, that's available from today, Friday, but unfortunately we sold out all our copies to um, pre-orders. Um, I have until Monday to see if most of my pre-order customers will take their copies, so maybe there will be some can cancellations, and if you're still looking for a copy, just come back on Monday and check on the website if we have copies left from the cancellations. It's Pandemic Legacy, the last of the new releases. And we're going to the restocks we had this week. The first one is Watergate, the two-player game from Martin Matthias Kramer. That's back in stock. Every time we have stock, it's very popular. And this time it comes with a change in history promo card. This comes for free with every copy of Watergate. And the next restock is the very popular Bonfire, the new Stefan Feld game from Pegasus. This is back in stock and um, I know that it's available now in the UK because it has this general release from Asmodee UK. But we are getting our stock from um, Pegasus directly in Germany, so I think we can offer you a very good price for this. And we have... 1066, the game I talked about when I mentioned 1565. It's the first Hall or Nothing production 
um, card game that got released a couple of years ago. It's very popular, it has amazing artwork and um, it's a really good two-player game. And yeah, depending on what history background you like, this is the Battle of Hastings. You have two games to choose from now. And then the big one is Nemesis from Awaken Realms, that's finally back in stock. That's the big box alien style board game, very popular and it's not just a big box of miniatures, it's actually a very good game so I can, can recommend it. Have, oops, sorry. Have a quick look at all the nice stuff that's inside and that's back in stock and we have a few copies still left. So if you haven't had a chance to get this game yet, now you can buy it on our website. Good. These are the restocks for this week. Um, now we can look ahead to next week and for next week we have finally confirmation that the Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle expansion charms and potions is coming to the UK. So after delay of a few weeks it's finally here and that should arrive on Tuesday, so pre-order payment uh, emails will go out on Monday, I think. And then the next game that's coming in for next week and has been confirmed is the second edition of The King is Dead from Osprey and Pierre Sylvester. Um, I've posted, oh, I'm not sure if I already have, but I can post um, some pictures in the blog to show you what the difference is between the two editions. Its um, artwork has changed, the style and layout of the map, the board has changed. So um, there are some photos available and I can post them on Monday on our blog site so you can have a closer look. And uh, Tammany Hall, the 2020 edition or print run, is also coming in next week. And the last one that's coming at the end of the week, official release date is Friday the 30th, is the Tapestry Expansion Plans and Ploys. Um, for everyone who looks to add new bits and bobs to his tapestry game, this looks very interesting. Coming in Friday, so I think I will send out the payment emails on Thursday. And um, these are the four new games confirmed for next week. There could be some more editions now with Essen going on, so maybe I'll hear a few more bits over the weekend. If there's any new games coming in, I will post an update on Monday. Then um, looking ahead to the pre-orders, we keep adding pre-orders to the website. And there's three interesting looking ones. There's the big Clash of Cultures Monumental Edition. It's basically the big box edition of Clash of Cultures that has been delayed quite a lot because I think there were some production issues but now it has been confirmed for May and um, unfortunately it also has a new higher price so um, it's up on the website now if you're still interested have a look at it it's confirmed for May and the second project L the second pre-order we've added that's a tile matching puzzle game that is um, quite a good hype last week because I think there were some YouTube videos going public and also a lot of people talking about it on Board Game Geek. It looks very interesting if puzzle games and tile matching is your kind of style. Have a look at it. And then for February we have a new card game from Renegade. It's the Vampire the Masquerade Rivals expendable card game and I think it's not a um, trading card game like Magic where you buy random boosters, it's more in the style of the Fantasy Flight game LCGs where you buy fixed um, expansion packs. That's starting in February with the base set and then I think like with all these games there is monthly expansions planned. So that's based on Vampire the Masquerade, a very popular role-playing game. And there's also two board games coming in the Vampire universe, so it seems to be a good, good year for Vampire. 
these are the three pre-orders. That's all for... Oh, and with all the pre-orders, I forgot to mention it last week, um, we never take your payment straight away when you place a pre-order. You can always choose the pre-order payment option during checkout, which means that we will contact you for the payment once stock is here. So you don't have to pay and then wait for sometimes months to to get your game. Um, yeah. So next time you place a pre-order, have a look. It's called pre-order payment option, and it's during the checkout. So these are the pre-orders, and I think that's all for this week. So see you next week. Bye.